This is how you bench press. If you're a jiu-jitsu athlete or a wrestling athlete, I'm sure you probably had your high school weightlifting coach, or you probably had some guy at the gym, some jack dude at jiu-jitsu say that, oh, bench press is easy. You just bring the bar down to your chest and then throw the weight up. And let me tell you, that's all great and all, but it's incorrect. This is the right way how to bench press. This is the only way you should be bench pressing so you can protect yourself before you wreck yourself, maximize the amount of strength gains you're gonna make, and help you get stronger so that you can win more matches and get injured less. And on the topic of getting injured less and winning more matches, I do have a free gift for you guys. You guys can click the link in the description below and I wanna send you a free four week strength program. My goal this year is to help 1,000 grappling athletes win more matches and get injured less. And if you wanna partner with me and join the cause, you guys can get a free four week strength program that's gonna help you get stronger, be more explosive so you can win more matches, get injured less. It's in the description below. That being said, let's dive right into it and how to bench press. The bench press is an awesome exercise and it's also one of the most common exercises, which makes it one of the most commonly bastardized and one of the most exercises that gets done incorrectly most often. And so the most important thing when it comes to the bench press is to really dial in your setup. There's gonna be a few things you need to think about as you're getting set on the bench press. First is that we're gonna have five points of contact and the first two points are gonna be our feet. As we're getting set, you wanna be able to have your feet move into the right position as the rest of your body gets set. So I like to set my feet kind of behind my knees just a little bit. I'm gonna move my feet around and get tighter as I get the rest of my body set, but you don't just wanna start getting set on the bench press and immediately just go in like this and having your feet be lazy. You wanna be intentional where your feet are being placed. So for me, as I'm getting set, I like to keep my feet just a little bit behind my knees. You'll see that some people like to bench with their feet up. Some people like to bench with their heels down. Find whatever feels most comfortable and best for you. So the first two points of contact are gonna be our feet. The next point of contact is gonna be our butt. You want your butt to be on the bench and it's once it touches the bench, it's not gonna move. You're not gonna bench and lift your butt up like this. It's gonna stay glued to the bench the entire time. Next, your third, or I'm sorry, your fourth point of contact is gonna be your upper back. You want your upper back to be tight and centered on the bench. You could use the uprights to help kind of center yourself, make sure that things are aligned and even. And then the last point of contact is gonna be your head. As you're getting set underneath the bar, you want the bar to be in line with your eyes. Go ahead and get a general idea of where your grip is. This is gonna be stage one of the setup. Stage two is getting really tight everywhere in your body so you can be stable and create a strong foundation for you to perform the exercise. So that starts with your feet getting tight and kind of gripping the floor, activating your quads. You can even see that I flex my quads a little bit and I squeeze my butt. And when I squeeze my butt, I pull my knees open just a little bit to create that tension. My quads are engaged. And then from right there, my lower body is rock solid. If someone tries to push me, I'm not gonna be all loosey goosey and get out of position. I'm gonna be rock solid in a good stable position here. From there, I'm gonna get a nice decent arch in my back. I'm not overextending at all. I'm just getting a little bit of an arch so that I can puff my chest up. You wanna think about having a big chest as you bench press. From there, I'm getting my back tight. I'm thinking about all the muscles of my back squeezing together and I'm thinking about pulling my shoulders down towards the bench. From there, I'm in a really solid position. Now I can get my grip set. I like to use a grip where my thumb is on the, the part where the rough part transitions to the smooth. That's how I line my grip up. Once I'm there, I get a full grip. I do not suggest doing a suicide grip like this. Get a full grip on the bar. As I get set and I get my hands on the bar, I'm gonna squeeze the bar as tight as I can. And then from there, I'll be able to bring it up and out out of the rack. I want my wrists, elbows, and shoulders to start all stacked over the top of each other. I'm gonna come down, and at the bottom position, I want my wrist and elbows to be stacked over the top with about a vertical forearm angle. From there, I'm gonna still keep everything tight. I'm gonna press up and back to the start position. Notice how I'm tucking my elbows a little bit. I'm not flaring out and doing this chicken wing thing. I'm not benching and cutting my head off. I'm bringing the bar down to a position where my wrist can stay stacked over my elbow. From there, I'm pressing back strong, resuming to the start position. You'll notice that I haven't lost any tension in my quads, I haven't lost any tension in my glutes, AKA my cheek meat. 
I haven't lost any tension in my upper back. You don't want to come down here and get loose and then try to press. It's not going to be good for you. The other thing you'll notice is that I'm not overextending my elbows, or I'm sorry, I'm not overextending my shoulders at the top. Keeping my chest up, shoulders back, coming down, press. Keeping everything locked in tight. And that's how you bench press. My name is Josh Selledge. You guys can follow me on Instagram at Joshua Selledge. And if you want to download that free four-week strength program that I want to send you, you guys can just click the link in the description below.